大家好 ，We continue on our XPP tutorial series, and today we're going to make knock lines and direction field or flow in XPP. So first, let's try to understand what knock line is. Knock lines are curves where the right hand sides of our system of equations vanish. In other words. A knock line is a curve in a phase plane where the vector field points in a particular direction. By convention, we have two kinds of knock lines: the vertical motion knock lines, where we set dx over dt is equal to zero. This means that the directional field along this knock line points vertically, because again, dx over dt is equal to zero. Similarly, we have the horizontal motion knock lines, and these are locations in the phase plane where dy over dt is equal to zero. And later, we will see the vector fields in the vertical motion knock lines to be really vertical, and the horizontal motion knock lines to be horizontal. Of course, they should be. Okay, so this is our example. We consider the Genetic control of protein synthesis by mRNA. So we have here in two dimensions, and our parameters are A and B. I have already made an ODE file for this one, and the first line is just a comment. Then we set some parameters: A is equal to 0.8, and B is equal to 0.5. So these are just the numbers I chose. Because I like how the graph looks with these parameters, and then I copy the equations like so, and then finish it with a done line. Next, we make sure that the x mean is running. We click on the x mean and then see to it that here on the right button, the x button shows up like so. And to run the file, we just drag the .ode file into the XPP shortcut. So below here, we click the x portion, and again, we don't. See right away the graph, but that is okay.、Um, so this is an x versus time window, and I don't, we don't want that window because we want a phase plane, and we can change this window by going to the view axis button here. Okay,、um, so we just change the x into x. The x-axis into x and the y-axis into y, and then because I know how this graph would look like, I did this beforehand. I know the x and y limits that I want for this graph. You can always change this if you want to. Okay, so this is our knock line. The orange one is for our vertical motion knock line, where we set dx over dt is equal to zero, and the green one is the horizontal motion knock line, where we have set dy over dt is equal to zero. Okay. Next step is to show the direction field or direction flow of the system. So we just go here in this. Button here, direction field flow, and then just click direction field like so. We set the mesh. For this case, I set the mesh equivalent to ten, and you can change the mesh count if you want more of these arrows here. Another option also is to look into the flow, like the complete curve flow without the direction. Just the same, it's in the direction field flow button, and yeah, click flow, and then you click flow. And that ends our tutorial for today. See you on the next video on this series. Bye bye.